confession time. I asked a dumb question earlier this morning off the air, Brent, and I asked you if you had turned your air conditioning on yet. <laughs> yeah, about February. Yeah. No, I See, I, I forget that I'm not normal and that I wait till June or July typically to turn mine on because I like it nice and warm. Well, I'm a little bit more hot natured than a lot mm -hmm. of folks, so I mean, it's not ne necessarily a dumb question. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, I usually turn mine on when it gets right around 70 or above, before, below that I can usually handle it. But uh, yeah, I've had mine on for a little while and I really had it up the last couple of days, or I guess down, the best mm -hmm. way to put it. But uh, you'll probably need the next couple of days because we're going to get warm, even for you, going mm -hmm. toward the uh, weekend in the upper 80s and close to 90 at times. All right. Well, I've Point Doppler radar this morning. Not too much to scan here across the mountains, but the biggest thing, just like it has been every day this week, is fog. Let's take a look at the WIMT camera outside our studios here in Hazard, and you can see lots of fog in the distance here at 643. Good morning to you. A whole lot of a layer there across the whole horizon blocking out the sunrise, but there are blue skies behind that. A few clouds this morning, but for the most part, not a whole lot going on. Back to temperatures, 50s and close to 60 pretty much area-wide. It's 59 in Prestonsburg, Paintsville and Inez, 60 in Pikeville, 61 over toward Hazard, Hindman and Hyden, 63 in Whitesburg, 60 West Liberty, 59 Campton, 58 London, 59 Whitley City, Williamsburg, Barberville, you're at 60. Good morning to you folks. 61 in Pineville. Good morning, Bell County. 59 up into Clay County. Good morning to you folks. And 57 and towards Somerset. Good morning, Pulaski County. Good morning to everyone. Mountain Almanac this morning, starting this new today. If you're just now joining us, to kind of give you an idea. It's been, we've been doing it on Facebook for a little while and seems to uh, be a popular uh, feature. So we're going to try it here on air a little bit. Sunrise this morning, 632. So right about uh, already ongoing, about 10 minutes ago. 829 is our sunset tonight. Record high is 90 today, which I don't think we'll get to. We'll get close. That was set back in 1986. Record low, 32 and 89. And the moon phase still full right now. But that'll be changing here pretty soon as we get ready to head back toward the new moon. Bus stop forecast. 58, give or take a degree or two this morning. 85 this afternoon. Some patchy fog gives way to chances for spotty storms. That fog, very not patchy here in Hazard this morning, but other spots not looking too bad. Visibility numbers are pretty good. Some clouds during the, uh, the Kentucky-Virginia border there this morning, also with Tennessee, but for the most part, just light clouds this morning. Big picture this morning, not much to go on. Just the low pressure down to our south. Not quite a tropical storm yet, but could be there soon. And then also back up to our north, those complex of showers and storms that are affecting a a lot of folks out in the central plains. As we go through on future view today, and we're just going to take you through today because it's the same pattern all the way into the weekend. Spotty chances for showers and storms, especially in the afternoon hours. 12 hour planner from the 50s this morning to the 70s by 10 o'clock, 80s by lunchtime, and chances for spotty showers and storms coming to play mainly after 2 o'clock, but through there, 85 is your forecast high. Tonight, back down close to 60, heating up tomorrow, 88, a forecast on Friday and Saturday. Chances for spotty showers and storms linger into Sunday. They get a bit better there, and then temperatures start to drop as the rain chances increase, at least for Monday and Tuesday. We'll see that get out of here back into the 70s, and the 70s are actually where we're supposed to be for this time of the year, not quite to the 80 degree range for average yet, and temperatures close to 60 overnight until we get late in the week where we get back into the 50s and maybe in the upper 40s by Wednesday night. Fourth and final check of the refrigerator this morning. Take you over to Green Hills one more time. What we have for you there is a beautiful day with a beautiful rainbow from Kylie over there. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the nice pictures you get to showcase here on the morning news. The time is 645. Good morning. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WIMT.